Hello and welcome back to another Higher Maths video. Today we're going to be continuing our functions and graphs topic and we're going to be looking at the final type of functions of Higher Maths and those are trigonometric functions. So, so far in Higher we have looked at several types of functions. We have looked at composite functions, we've looked at inverse functions, we've looked at exponential functions, and we've even looked at logarithmic functions. Today we're going to be doing, I think you'll be happy when I say this, probably the easiest type of functions, and those are trigonometric functions. And the reason they are the easiest is, well, there's not really much to them, and we've done them quite a lot at National 5. Now you can see from this diagram that I've drawn on screen, we have what looks to be a graph that is going to keep going up and down and up and down and it keeps on doing this. This graph will keep going up and down between these max values and these minimum values. We call this graph a periodic graph because it repeats its pattern. So that's an important definition. A graph that repeats is called periodic. And this is because we call the period of the graph one period of it and it will keep repeating that period. So this graph goes up, down and back up and it will repeat that period. It will keep doing that. And I think you can already tell from this graph that it is the sine graph. So this graph in this case is y equals sine x. Now if the repeating pattern has a minimum and a maximum value, then half of the distance between these is called the amplitude. So as you can see, this graph will never get higher than this value here, which we call the maximum value, and it will never go lower on the y-axis than this value down here, so we call this the minimum value. And halfway between there, the distance from the x-axis to the max value, or the distance from the x to the min value, is called the amplitude. Now we have looked at three trigonometric functions at National 5 and we're only going to look at the same three at higher. At advanced higher you will look at more complex trigonometric functions but at higher these are the three main ones we're talking about. And you might recognize them from when we talked about them at National 5 and we call these our trig functions. We'll start with this one on the left, our function in this case is y equals sine x. This is the sine wave, the sine curve, which we can see starts at zero, reaches a max value at one, goes back down to zero, then reaches a min value at minus one before finishing back up at the end of its period, back at zero. And as we can see, after this one wave, after this period, it will go back up and do the exact same thing again. So in this case, we say that the amplitude, which we talked about, is the distance from, uh, it's, it's just half of the distance from the max value to the min value, so the distance from the x to the max, we say that the amplitude is one. Now the period in this case is the distance it takes along the x-axis to complete one wave or one motion of the function and in our case it's 360 degrees. So the period is going to be 360, it looks a bit like a 6, 360 degrees. Now we'll move on to the second graph which we can see is going to be our cos graph cos x. Now some people put degrees, it's completely up to you, you don't need to it's implied that it's the degrees. And we can see for our cos graph, it starts at minus one, which is actually its max value. It goes down to zero, then goes down to minus one, back up to zero before finishing its period at minus one. So in this case, we say that the amplitude is gonna be the exact same. It's simply just going to be one. It's half of the distance from the max to the min. So it's one. And in this case, we also have the period 360 degrees, just like the period of a sine wave. Now, if we look over at our final graph, it's the weird one in this case, the graph is tan x, which if you remember, we said tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. 
it's not really necessary to write this, I'm just reminding us so things make sense. Now the graph of tan x is a bit weird, it starts at zero and goes up, kind of like an exponential, and then after it goes up it shoots back down and curls back up, a kind of like a log, and then it has this little split here, which is actually the end of its period, and then it starts back up again and repeats in between these two dotted lines. So we can see in this case that our period is not going to be the same. Our period in this case is going to be 180 degrees because if we sort of shield out these two dotted lines, we can say that this is the same as this. So its period is simply 180 degrees. But what about its amplitude? Well, its amplitude is undefined. This bit here will keep going up and up and up like an exponential and this bit here will keep going down and down and down and down and down like a log. So the amplitude of a trigonometric function is simply undefined, it does not have an amplitude. And that's all we've got on trigonometric functions.